In this lesson, I want to show you why some people prefer to save their render output as 32-bit images, so EXR, for example. And I've saved out our last render as an EXR and as a JPEG. If we go to image mode, you'll see that this is a 32-bit image. And if I jump into the JPEG version and go to image mode, you'll see that this is 8-bit. And also, if we compare the file size, you can see that the JPEG example is a lot smaller and then the photo bit has a lot more information in there. So if we go down in the photo bit version down here, we can go to photo bit exposure and we can pull that up and down and we can see what we can do. And this isn't actually enabled in the JPEG version. It only works with 32 bit. So what I'm going to do is add a exposure adjustment layer and let's just pull that down by three. And let's do the same thing in our 32 bit version. And you'll see straight away that the JPEG version is just blown out in this window and that's because that information isn't there. And if we add a levels, we'll see that all the information ends here. So if we take that, sorry, if we take the exposure off, we can see that it's basically just crushing all of this information up here. And if we go to the 32 bit image and add a levels, we've got more information up here. So basically the 32 bit image has a lot more information about what is in the really light areas and the really dark areas. So if we adjust this levels, say it's something like this, and we'll do the same in our 8-bit version, we can see the difference and we can see that the 32-bit image is much more powerful because we can bring back highlighted areas and really dark areas. So if we jump back down, and make a copy of our 32-bit image and we want to make an adjustment to it, we'll notice that not all of the adjustments are available. Whereas if we go to our 8-bit image and make a copy and we want to make some adjustments to this layer, we can see that everything's available. But the best workflow would be to bring in a 32-bit image, get your exposure right and make sure if you want to see out there, for example, that that's correct and then you go to image mode and then you can bring that down to either 16 or 8 bits. This video is actually part of a larger course so if you think you find that useful then check out the link in the description and feel free to like and subscribe.